This is Stuart Cameron with a look at yesterday's rugby in the borders and Galler are back on top of the Premiership after beating Hoyk 22-21 at Mansfield Park. They raced to a 12-0 lead in the first quarter but Hoyk came right back into it, going into the break 12 apiece. The Greens went on to take the lead twice in the game but a late penalty from Ewan Scott sealed the win for the Maroons. Their three tries came from Grant Somerville, Gary Graham and a penalty try, while Hoyk's two went to Lee Armstrong and Wally Blacklock. First we hear from Gala's Grant Somerville. Fair play to Hoyk, great, great hands in that in those conditions because that was hellish out there. Um, but uh, yeah, they came back at us. Uh, we knew we'd be up against it with the wind in the, in the second half, but we did well uh, and we managed to sneak the win, so uh, really important. Reaction from Hoyk's Nicky Walker. Considering the conditions, I'm sure it was a decent game to watch. You know, um, the boys just kept the ball well, and um, just a little bit of naivety by Hoyk there, and then you know gave away that penalty, and uh, they managed to knock it over and win the game. But I think uh, as a Hoyk player, we've talked about this week just fronting up, and you know we're in a fight for our lives in this league, and um, if we can play like that for the rest of the season, I'm sure we'll stay in the league. You can watch highlights of that game right now on Borders Rugby Television at BordersRugby.net. So Gala have 63 points at the top of the Premiership table, three ahead of Melrose, and there's just two games to play for both. Put simply, two wins in their final two games, irrespective of bonus points, will be good enough to win the Scottish Championship for Gala. The Cup quarter-finals were completed yesterday with two away wins. Glasgow Hawks won at air 28-24, while Aberdeen Grammar knocked out Edinburgh Ackies 13-8 in a game played on the 3G back pitch at Murrayfield. Well, moving to the Booker Border League now and in Pool B, Jed Forrest kept their hopes of making the final alive with a 29-27 win at home to Kelso. It was another game in which the lead changed hands several times, but Jed got four tries for a bonus with scores by Chris Laidlaw, Connor Hogg, Michael Weekly, and Sean Goodfellow. Kelso's three tries went to Kieran Cooney, Kieran Wilkinson and Liam Tate. We hear from both camps, starting with Kelso's Matty Douglas. Jed fought for everything. We were a wee, wee bit lacked a wee bit of skill today, we, we dropped balls, uh, we weren't decisive enough, uh, we didn't play in the right areas of the pitch of the first half, we had the wind, we didn't use it, you know, I missed a couple of goals and it just pegged on from there, you know, Jed showed the fighting hunger that they wanted to win the game, but I thought the boys stuck in well, second half, we came back, we got in front, but we just didn't close the game out. Jed captain, Robert Hogg. Maybe a few boys had one eye on the, the big game next week. It's crucial that we go up to Livingston and we get, obviously, the bonus point. We have to keep the pressure on Howie Five. So we'll go up there full of confidence after that, beating Kelso, after the result last week against uh, Watsonians. So, yeah, the boys are just needing a big, big week of training and we'll go up all guns blazing. Highlights of that game and also the National League match between Peebles and Bigger, which ended in a 14-all draw on Friday night, are at bordersrugby.net. Well, now to the results of the other local games in the RBS East League 1, Duns nil, Preston Lodge 15. The RBS Border Shield, Hoyk Harlequins 27, Earlston 8. And the RBS Regional Bowl quarter-final, Walkerburn nil, Gala YM 72. For a full list of results, fixtures, and to get the latest news, results, rankings, audio and video, go to bordersrugby.net.